ya kwanza kumbuka unafuatilia matangazo haya kupitia kwa mtandao wa Twitter at @tv47ke at @paukirobi ni kupasha mengi zaidi baada ya ripoti ya utafiti wa shirika la Kenya Demographic Health ambayo ilifichua kwamba visa vya mimba za utotoni katika kaunti ya Nakuru imefikia asilimia saba. mashirika ya kiraia na mashirika ya afya ya uzazi sasa yanashinikiza kupitishwa kwa msuada wa afya ya uzazi wa jinsia miaka moja baada ya pendekezo lake kama na vitwarifu chichi Josephine Utafiti kutoka shirika la Kenya Demographic Health ulionyesha kuwa walioadhiriwa zaidi na mimba za utotoni ni wenye umri wa kati ya miaka kumi na 19 na hivyo kusababisha uaviaje mimba usio salama. National statistics are a bit low at 15% teenage pregnancy and Nakuru is 17 so it's quite high and that is a concern. I think the challenge here in Nakuru is a differentials at sub county level which we really have to get our data right and see where we have to do programming to ensure this uh, this uh, menace goes down. If we do not have a remuka framework then that's why Uh, as you've just heard from the statistics Nakuru county is among the leading counties when it comes to triple threat and teenage pregnancy is is, a, is among the, the the key issues that are, are contributing even to unsafe abortions that are contributing highly to maternal mortalities Kulingana na mkurugenzi wa shirika la bingwa wa afya ya uzazi Martin Lunalo mswada wa afya ya uzazi umekuwa unashughulikiwa tangu mwaka 2013 na, na utakuwa bora iwapo utapitishwa ili kutoa suluhu kwa janga la mimba za utotoni maambukizi ya ukimwi na unyanyasaji wa kijinsia This document is very important to ensure that we are talking uh, we are intersectionalizing issues that are affecting our population the triple threat the triple threat how are we mitigating uh, these challenges and the massacre in terms of our women who are dying daily and our men who are dying daily The policy this will enable us get more funds in the department and also get done to work on uh, these issues like for the case of uh, uh, handling teenage, teenage mothers that is taking them back to school it requires money Serikali imepewa changamoto kuchukua jukumu la kukabiliana na tishio la mimba za utotoni na unyanyasaji wa kijinsia kwa kutenga fedha katika sekta zinazoshughulikia masuala hayo My other clarion call is to our government both national and county government to allocate adequate resources to matters healthcare especially reproductive health for us to be able to achieve the good results and to better the situation Chichi Josephine TV 47 Namtukia sana taarifa yake Chichi